Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to build an extension for your welding leads. And what I'm going to be using here is one gauge cable that I got from a, you can get them from a Dodge and Chrysler, the 300s, the Magnums, and the Chargers. I think from 05 and on up, where they put the battery in the uh, trunk of the vehicle and it gives you a one gauge cable made in the USA and uh, 13 feet long so for oh this is around five bucks and then you can get the uh, adapters for the extension leads I show you those here in a second I got them from Amazon made by uh, weldingcity.com and those were $11. So for around $15, $16, we're gonna build us a 13 foot extension. All right, well, let's get started. Now here's what I got from WeldingCity.com and I'll provide the uh, Amazon link down below in the description, check that out. And what you get for that are the two boots and then you're gonna get the two connections for both ends, the male and female end and it comes with two copper sleeves that go inside the uh, cable side. I'll show you how that works. All right, the first thing we want to do is uh, cut off this connector and the one on this end here. I got me some loppers here, is what I like to call them. I've kind of abused these cable cutters. There we go. Try to get most of that cable. I'm going to use every inch I can. There we go. So what we'll need now is about strip one inch of that insulation off of there. I got just a hair bit ahead of myself. Go ahead and slide the boot on. I should have done that kind of before I stripped this, but it'll be all right. Yeah, it's going to go on just fine. There we go. These welding cables have a real fine strand to them. And this is welding cable, by the way, that comes out of the, uh, the Chrysler Dodge vehicles. It says so right on it. And right there you can see Presto Flex welding cable, one gauge, made in the USA. This is the good stuff. Now this copper sleeve is kind of important. What it does is it protects those strands. So when you tighten up this Allen screw that goes into this, it doesn't just go into those uh, strands and make a big mess of them. So just like that. Now using a five millimeter Allen, go ahead and tighten that up. Here you go. Makes a nice solid connection. One thing I want to point out is that there is a male and female boot that goes with the connector. We got the female connector here. Well, there's a particular boot that goes with it because it'll fit properly. Notice how this has a ridge on it right there. That's the one that goes with this. Otherwise, if you swap it around, this connector will not go into this properly. It will, it'll only go down to where it'll stick out almost three quarters of an inch out of this boot. So this boot is made for that connector. Now, 
lineup, you'll notice they got the two notches on here. You can see that. Well, you got to line up with these two notches on here. There it goes. <clears throat> Perfect. Just like that. Get the other end done. Place that copper sleeve in there. I rolled the uh, split end down toward the bottom. Make sure you get all your strands in there. There we go. Okay. All right, this has got the same two notches you got to line up with the boot. There we go. There's both ends done. We got to say 13 foot lead. It can be used on either. Uh, the negative or positive side for your stick welder and I'll be using this for my TIG and my stick Okay, now with the new cable made Plug that end in and This is the other end there go. This is the end of the original cable and There we go with the extension added into the cable, I'm just going to see how far this will reach out. Hopefully I can get to the end of the driveway here. Just to the end of the driveway. Alright, that actually works out pretty well. I mean, there's something I need to weld that we can't get in the garage, let's say a trailer or whatever, and we can pull it right up here and we can attach the ground to it. Now all I got to do is uh, lengthen the uh, electrode end. Well there you have it. That was an easy mod to do. Uh, I like repurposing cable and you know other things, you know why go out and buy new cable when you can get it at the pick apart for five bucks, right? And now I've got a cable that's long enough to reach out to the end of the garage here. So if I, let's say a trailer pulls up, can't get it in the garage, at least I've got cables that reach out there. Now I'm going to do probably the same thing to the stinger side of this. And uh, that way I, I can do it with my stinger, uh, the arc welder, as well as the TIG welder. Because i got a 25, cord, 25 foot cord on the uh, TIG. A uh, high flex cord. So, all works out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel immensely. If you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video. I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links in the description down below where you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links. And then that way the channel earns a small commission. I sure appreciate that. Well, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.